As I walked into my bedroom, I noticed a dark figure standing in the corner. Its eyes glowed red, and a chilling silence filled the air. The figure moved closer, its elongated fingers reaching out towards me. I tried to scream, but no sound escaped my lips. I was trapped, paralyzed with fear as it whispered, You can't escape me. I woke up in the middle of the night to find myself tied to a chair in a dimly lit room. A flickering light bulb swung above me, casting eerie shadows on the walls. Suddenly, a masked figure emerged from the darkness, wielding a knife. It whispered, You shouldn't have come here, as it approached with a sinister grin. I desperately struggled, knowing my fate was sealed in this nightmare. The old house had always given me an uneasy feeling, but curiosity got the better of me. As I stepped inside, the door slammed shut behind me. The walls began to creak, and the paintings on the walls morphed into grotesque faces. The floor beneath me gave way, and I fell into a dark abyss. I screamed for help, but no one could hear me in that house of horrors. In the attic of our new home, I discovered an ancient diary. As I flipped through the pages, the words became increasingly disturbing, filled with tales of murder and possession. Suddenly, I felt a cold breath on the back of my neck. I turned around to see a ghostly figure standing behind me, its eyes filled with malevolence. I dropped the diary, knowing that I had awakened an ancient evil that would haunt me forever. I moved into a new apartment and found a hidden room in the basement. The walls were covered in cryptic symbols and bloodstains. Curiosity compelled me to investigate further. As I deciphered the symbols, a chilling wind blew through the room, extinguishing the lights. In the darkness, I heard a voice whispering my name, getting closer with each repetition. I realized too late that the room held a sinister secret, one that hungered for my soul. On a camping trip deep in the woods, I stumbled upon an abandoned cabin. Inside, I found a collection of old photographs, all depicting people with vacant stares and twisted smiles. A sense of dread washed over me as I heard footsteps approaching from outside. Peering through the window, I saw the figures in the photos slowly emerging from the darkness, their eyes locked on me. I knew then that I was their next victim. I'd always been afraid of mirrors, but that fear turned into terror when I realized they were portals to another realm. One day, while brushing my teeth, I caught a glimpse of movement in the mirror. I watched in horror as a distorted reflection reached out and pulled me into its world. I found myself trapped, surrounded by twisted versions of myself, all whispering in a chorus of madness. As I walked through an abandoned hospital, the air grew heavy with a foul stench. I entered a room, and the door slammed shut behind me. The walls started to ooze with blood, and the sound of moaning filled the air. I turned around to see ghostly patients, their bodies mangled and decayed, advancing towards me. I could feel their cold hands reaching for my throat, their desperate need for release turning them into monsters. I took a shortcut through an overgrown graveyard, the moon casting an eerie glow on the tombstones. Suddenly, I heard a soft whisper behind me. I turned around to see a little girl, her pale face contorted in a sinister grin. She reached out with her bony hand, her voice dripping with malice as she said, you shouldn't be here. I ran, but no matter how fast I went, her laughter echoed in my ears, haunting me forever. The room was filled with porcelain dolls, their lifeless eyes staring back at me. I had always found them unsettling, but tonight they seemed different. Their heads turned, following my every move, their porcelain smiles widening. In a frenzy, I tried to escape, but the dolls blocked my path, their tiny hands clawing at my legs. I was trapped in a nightmare, surrounded by the inanimate monsters that hungered for my soul. I stumbled upon an abandoned carnival deep in the woods. The rides creaked and groaned as if alive. As I explored the dilapidated attractions, the carousel started spinning on its own, its music a haunting melody. I saw spectral figures riding the horses, their eyes empty and soulless. The laughter of ghostly children filled the air as they beckoned me to join them, promising eternal joy but I knew that joy would come at a horrifying price. I inherited a cursed painting that had been passed down through generations. The moment it entered my home, strange occurrences began. Shadows danced on the canvas, 
figures shifting and contorting in agony. One night, the painting came alive, the tormented souls escaping into my room. Their anguished cries pierced the silence, and I knew they sought revenge for their eternal suffering. I was now trapped in their world, forever tormented by their malevolent presence. I woke up in a hospital bed, the room dimly lit and sterile. A nurse stood by my side, her face hidden beneath a surgical mask. I tried to speak, but my voice was weak, barely a whisper. Panic rose within me as I realized that the nurse was slowly tightening a noose around my neck. Her eyes were void of emotion as she murmured, It's time to go. I gasped for breath, struggling against the restraints, but there was no escape from the grasp of death. I entered an abandoned asylum, its hallways echoing with whispers of forgotten souls. I explored the decaying rooms, each one filled with horrifying remnants of the past. As I ventured deeper, the voices grew louder, tormenting me with their malicious intent. Suddenly the door slammed shut behind me, trapping me in the darkness. The walls started closing in, suffocating me, as the voices grew louder and more deranged. Madness consumed me as I realized there was no way out. The antique shop had a peculiar item on display, an ornate music box. Intrigued, I wound it up, and a haunting melody filled the air. But as the tune played, the room began to distort, warping into a nightmarish realm. The music grew louder, drowning out my screams as grotesque figures emerged from the shadows. Their twisted forms danced to the macabre melody, their eyes gleaming with sadistic delight. I was trapped in a nightmare orchestrated by the cursed music box. I rented a cabin deep in the woods to escape the chaos of the city, but as night fell, I realized I was not alone. Strange whispers filled the air, and the walls seemed to pulse with a sinister energy. Shadows danced in the corners, watching my every move. The cabin's door creaked open on its own, revealing a darkness that seemed to swallow everything. Fear consumed me as I realized that the woods held ancient secrets, and I was now at their mercy. I stumbled upon an old well hidden in the middle of a desolate field. Curiosity compelled me to peer inside. Suddenly, a hand shot out from the darkness, grasping my wrist with a bone-chilling grip. A voice echoed from the depths, promising unimaginable horrors. I tried to pull away, but the grip tightened, pulling me closer to the well's abyss. I could feel myself being dragged into a realm of darkness, where nightmares were born and souls were devoured. I volunteered at an abandoned orphanage, hoping to bring light into the lives of forgotten children. But as I entered the decrepit building, I sensed an overwhelming presence. The walls whispered tales of abuse and anguish. A cold breeze brushed against my skin, and the laughter of ghostly children filled the air. Their innocent faces contorted into demonic visages as they surrounded me, their cries for help turning into manic screams. I realized then that the children were not seeking salvation. They wanted revenge. <laughs>